Hey everybody, Windstreak here. Uh, we have a question from Laurent. They're looking to move their sprites one at a time. Uh, so without further ado, we'll hop into a video or a new uh, project. We're going to throw a sprite on here. And we're just going to fill it in and make it small so it doesn't take up our whole screen. And we're going to want to give these a variable. And this will be a boolean. And we're just going to ask is activated. And we're going to start it out with no. And once it moves, and it will move with bullet, uh, we're going to change that to activated. And we're going to start things with bullet off. And we can just make any amount of these copy paste in. And you can see they're all bullet unenabled, is activated, false. So they all follow the same guidelines. And from the start, we can grab our sprite, and we're going to want to first check if they are activated. That way we're not looking over the same ones multiple times. And then we're going to grab a random instance. Uh, and this is not required. Um, it's under system. Random. It's not required to grab a random instance, but just to show you how, because you might want them to not go in the same order every time to make your game a little harder. And then we'll do four each here. Again, that's in system. Four each sprite. That way we can check them all. And then we're going to want a timer. And you can throw it at any time you want between them. I'm going to put point two seconds so it goes pretty quick and then we're just going to set this bullet effect to enabled and I will also change their boolean to activated and here we go and here's why this has to ask if they are not active, so we're just going to flip that around. Uh, this way it'll check them all until they're active and then stop checking those ones. So here we go, one more time. There we go, that should help you out. Let me know if you have any questions.